Create and manage stock records in Sage Accounting. In this video, we'll guide you through creating stock records for items you frequently buy and sell. We'll cover this on both the web and mobile app. By recording stock for your products, you can effectively manage inventory levels and prevent transactions from being created when items are out of stock. Please note that this is a premium feature and you'll only be able to view it if you subscribe to Accounting Plus. Create and manage product categories. Before creating products and services, you might want to consider organizing them into categories. Use categories and subcategories to group related products and services. This helps to find product and service records easier and helps with analysis and reporting. From the top menu bar, go to Products and Services. From the drop-down arrow, select Manage Categories. Enter the category name and click Save. To create a subcategory, enter its name and select the Make a Subcategory checkbox. Choose the top-level category it will fall under. You can manage your categories here too. To do this, click the category or subcategory you'd like to amend. If needed, you can change the names of categories and subcategories here. For subcategories, you can change the top-level category or from a subcategory into a top-level category. Once you have made the desired changes, click Save. To delete a category or subcategory, Select the corresponding checkbox and click the Delete icon. Deleting a category automatically removes it from any associated stock, non-stock or service records. If the category has subcategories, those subcategories become top-level categories. To exit, click here. Create Stock Items Let's create a stock item. To do this, from Products and Services, click New Item and then click Stock. These are products you want to count and track. When bought or sold, the stock quantity is adjusted. You can also report on all the activity of your stock items. Anything marked with an asterisk is mandatory. Enter an item code and description. Please note that the item code and description will show on your documents such as a sales invoice. To add this item to a category or subcategory, select one from the drop-down list. If you sell this item, complete the details in the I sell this item section. By default, there are three price names created for you, sales price, trade and wholesale. You can change these names and add up to 10 product prices. These changes can be made in business settings and then record and transaction settings. Details about this are covered in a separate video. Enter a price for each price name you'd like to use. Select the Includes VAT checkbox to set the gross price, including VAT. When entered on an invoice, the VAT is deducted from this price. For example, if the price of the item including VAT is £100, the net amount would be £83.33 and, and the VAT would be £16.67. If the item price is £100 excluding VAT, the net value is £100 and the VAT is £20. Then, select the relevant sales account from the drop-down list. The selected ledger account will be the default ledger applied on transactions when selecting this product item. If required, you can change this on the fly when creating the transaction. From the VAT rate drop-down list, select the applicable rate for this item. The selected VAT rate will be applied when the item is included in a sales invoice or credit note. This can be changed manually when creating transactions if required. If you also buy this item, complete the details in the I buy this item section. If you want to keep track of the profit you make on the sale of each item, 
using the profit analysis report, you must have the correct cost price and a sales price set. Start by specifying who the usual supplier is for this item. This is for your reference only. If required, add a purchase description. This is for your reference and won't appear on any documents. Then, enter the price you pay for that service. When you create a purchase invoice or credit note, this price is used by default, but you can change it on the fly. From the VAT rate drop-down list, select the applicable rate for this item. The selected VAT rate will be applied when the item is included in a purchase invoice or credit note. This can be changed when entering your transactions if necessary. Then, select the relevant purchase account from the drop-down list. The selected ledger account will be the default ledger applied on transactions when selecting this stock item. If required, you can change this on the fly when creating the transaction. You can set a reorder level along with the usual reorder quantity. If you have information about the current stock quantity for this item, you can enter opening balances. To do this, select this checkbox. Enter the quantity on hand and the as of date. This ensures that your stock records are updated and the quantity will be reflected in the stock movement report. Include a cost price to ensure the total value of your stock is up to date. If you are unsure about the opening balance at this stage, leave this checkbox clear. You can add this later as a stock adjustment. Stock adjustments are covered in detail in a separate video. Enter any additional information you want to store for this item, such as location, barcode, weight and notes. This is for your reference only and won't appear on any documents. Once you are happy with the information entered, click Save. The newly created stock item now appears in the Products and Services list. View and manage a stock record. Back in the Products and Services list, you can view how many items are out of stock or below the reorder level. A warning sign will also be displayed in the Quantity in Stock column to indicate when an item falls below the specified reorder level. This helps identify and manage items that require attention. If these columns aren't on your list, use this icon and select the checkbox next to the column you'd like to add to the list. You can reorder the list here too. Remember to save your changes. Filter the list by status and type, or search for the product or service you are looking for. For bulk actions such as printing, emailing, downloading a CSV, opening a PDF, or deleting, select records using the checkboxes. Select the required option from this menu. Please note that you can't delete an item if it's included on invoices, but you can make it inactive instead. We'll look at how to action this later in this video. To access a stock record, click on the relevant one from the list. At the top of the page, view information about your stock item, including the current stock and reorder details. The last sales price for the item extracted from your most recent sales invoice, along with the date it was last sold. The last cost price from your most recent purchase invoice the date of the last purchase, and the average price paid for the item. This average price is calculated from historical purchase data. All transactions related to the stock item can be accessed in the Activity tab. This list displays all individual stock movements for this stock item. Each stock movement is recorded when an item is sold or purchased, when a stock adjustment is entered, when a bought item is returned, or when a sold item is received as a return. You can easily search and filter the list by date and transaction type for your convenience. View more details for each transaction by clicking on it. For bulk actions, select transactions using the checkboxes. To edit a record, click here. For example, you can edit the description here. 
If the item is no longer needed, mark it as inactive by selecting this checkbox. However, to take this action, the stock quantity must be empty. Once inactive, you can't add it to future dated invoices. You can reactivate it at any time by deselecting the inactive checkbox. After editing the relevant information, click Save. Create products and services using the mobile app. It is also easy to create stock records on the fly using the Sage Accounting mobile app. Please note that what's displayed may differ slightly depending on what device and operating system you are using. For this demonstration, we'll use an iOS device. From the mobile app, press the account icon at the top left. Then choose products and services. You can view and manage existing items and add new ones. To add a new stock item, press the plus icon from the stock tab. Similar to the web app, enter the required information for the item. The minimum requirement is the item code and description. Once you're happy with the information entered, press save. The newly created item will now appear in the list. To edit an item, access it and press edit. Make the necessary changes and click save. For further information, access our help center by clicking help at the top of Sage Accounting. You've now learned how easy it is to create and manage stock records.